Strata Live 3D In creates real-time 3D content for websites and PDF documents from Photoshop CS3 extended documents which include 3D content. Let's use the Strata Live 3D In plugin, 3D PDF In. This is the AquaWebPDF.psd file which can be found in your Strata 3D plugin examples folder on your desktop. This document is set up as a basic brochure that could have been done in Photoshop or Illustrator. This page was originally designed for a print brochure but will be able to repurpose it for a PDF and a web page and it will contain 3D content. Using the rectangular selection tool, select the area around the shoe. This region will represent the 3D viewing area. Make sure the Aqua Shoe layer is selected because these plugins do work on the selected layer. Then go to Filter, Strata Live 3D In, 3D PDF In. This is the Strata Live 3D In dialog, which contains several settings for your page setup. The first setting is image quality. What this plugin does is rasterizes the entire document. It uses a JPEG compression to save your document as part of your PDF. So select High. The next setting is the 3D frame size. This is the area that your model will render. So choose Selection, and that will be the Selection region that we previously created. Then we have the 3D background color, and this will be the color behind the 3D rendering area. So we're going to use white so it blends in with the background of our brochure. Next you select a navigation bar. This beta version shows a list of the available navigation bars, but the release version will show images. Select Gray Toolbar, and then click OK. We get the save dialog, so name it Aqua Shoe and click OK. And then it will save out the PDF document. When the document is done saving, it will automatically be opened in the default PDF viewer. In order to see the 3D object, you'll need Adobe Reader version 8. Mac computers often use Apple's preview application to view PDF documents, so you may need to follow the Apple system help directions to change that setting. So you'll notice that all the layers have been rasterized with the exception of the 3D layer. You can see the region that the 3D object is constrained to, which was based off of our selection. Now you'll be able to click on various buttons of the nav bar. You can rotate, move, zoom in and out. There's a measuring tool that allows you to drag measuring points. This beta version does not have a way to set the scale just yet. And then you have the reset button on the far right that will put the shoe back to its original state.